Hello everybody, this is Bryce Zender here, and welcome to another episode of Bryce Plays Multiplayer. In this episode, we're going to be checking out Monster Hunter World. And so, yeah. Um, now, I we might not get into multiplayer this, but this is going to be a kind of an introduction. It may be an hour long. Uh, because I have a lot of stuff I want to show you. Um, and this is mostly made of, uh, made for my, uh, parents to check out this game since I can't show them on the computer. Also, if you want more of this game, just let me know in the comments. Okay, let's begin. I already have a character made that I made a while ago because I wasn't sure if I wanted to record it. Yeah, there's Mittens, that's my cat in real life. And we'll talk about the Palico too. So we're not going to jump into a regular server for the first half. We're going to jump into a little server I made. This is just friends only, so you can't join. Then, hopefully, when I'm done showing you the game, then we'll jump into some multiplayer. Because this is Bryce Plays Multiplayer, of course. I've actually never done multiplayer on this game. So, I think first we want to go and uh, check out my room so we can talk about some stuff in there i can talk about uh, my my signature weapon that i chose ah we're in hold on jeez it's lagging for me a bit Okay, so first of all, you can see these things running around. Um, these are my pets, and how do you place uh, pets in this game? You have to go over here. This is a palico right there. We'll talk more about palicos in a bit. So luck capturing... Yep, that's a spoiler. Because <laughs> I played pretty far into this game. So first you can go to place your pets, and based on what you capture, we'll talk about capturing in that. These are climbing joy perches that you can place. You can only place one type of pet, but up to three of that one type. So, yeah. So now let's go to the training area. Your housekeeper can also allow you to do this, and we'll talk about my weapon of choice, which I have on my back. And also one of my favorite designs for that weapon. Here we are. Okay, so this is the charge blade. Basically, what this weapon does is by striking you charge it up. As you can see on the top left, you see those vials? Those are your files. Basically, once those get orange, it means you're almost charged up. If you let it charge up too much, this happens. And your attacks get deflected. You do less damage. Yeah, you don't want it to get to this stage. Well, even though I let, let it happen quite a bit. And now... You see the controls over there. You have to kind of click the side of the mouse. It's weird. Um, this charged the files. So you see the files are now filled. Now you may ask what you do with those files. Well, <laughs> this is the cool part. Axe mode. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This weapon 
The charge blade turns from a sword into an axe. Sword and shield into an axe. And basically what you can do now that your files are filled, if I show you. Little bit of elemental damage. There we go. As you can see. And if you just want to get the elemental discharge, just click the two mouses at the same time. And that's how this weapon really works. I pretty much mastered it, so I'm not going to... You can... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. There's two different ways to get out your weapon. You can either uh, left click to bring out the sword, or if you want to bring out the axe right away, just click the side of your mouse. Not like that. The other button. Okay, just a second. There we go. And then you know, click that again to switch back. So there's one more weapon I want to show you guys I've not yet yet to use because it is pretty funny. <laughs> uh, let's go to change equipment. You can do a lot in there. We'll go over that. The hunting horn. Let's go with the default one. Let's go with the default one and I can show you all the tunes in it and that's right it's a musical instrument <laughs> used as a weapon so basically how the hunting horn works is you have to beat up your foe to build notes And basically, the different notes you use determine different buffs you'll give your friends and yourself. Then when you want to play, just click that button. You do a little jig. If you like bagpipes, you like this weapon, but apparently this is the least popular weapon in the list. So let's go ahead and take a look at my other bagpipes. Let me show you the worst of the lot. Oh yeah, all the bone ones are gone. Oh nope, there's one bone one left. This one is awful. like a didgeridoo. Now, nah, this bone ones are kind of garbage. Let's show my other hunting horns. This one's, as you can tell, a bell. But that's a cool ability called Sonic Waves. Nice, right? Let's check out... That one doesn't really have a different a melody. The Kulu one does. Kulu Yaku, as it's called in the game.
Let's go and change equipment. This one is pretty cool. This is made from bug parts, by the way. We'll take a look at the vest void. Maybe, maybe not. It's small bugs. Blooming Harm, this is made from the Puke Puke, or as I like to call it, the Pukey Pukey. <laughs> if you wonder where that joke comes from, that's the first time I tried to pronounce it. Okay, they gave me the word. It's all they gave me, so... To me, it is always the Pukey Pukey. There we go. So now let's head on to base. So let's talk about the slinger. This is the other weapon you have. If you hold the C button and you press like the side of the mouse, you fire stuff. There's many different pods out there. Some pods you can only find in nature. Wait, what's up here? Oh, cool. I've actually never been up here. Ah, well that sucked. I didn't realize there was... And you can check out wedge beetles, which allow you to do this. And those things flying around, those green particles, are scout flies. We'll talk about them too. Okay, so let's go and take a look and change my equipment back. There are multitudes of weapons, you'll just have to get the game to find out what they are. So where is my weapon ah yes and oh yeah i forgot to show you one thing this is my favorite version of this weapon it has no elemental damage but it just looks cool this is the jagra we'll check out we'll check out what the jagras are because i can tame them believe it or not you can tame monsters in this game not large ones but small ones at least I can tame uh, Jagras and Kestodons right now. Boom, bitch! <laughs> okay, enough playing around. Don't worry, guys, we'll get to the monster killing. Don't know if we'll do it this episode, but... We'll get to it. This will probably be an hour long episode. By the way, I want to say you can create loadouts. And I named these different loadouts for the different um, biomes. 
And different armors have different skills, too. Like this Jagger male has Intimidator. Not entirely sure how the skills work, but let's just say it keeps stuff from attacking you. Let's head back to our room. Now, let's talk about this little guy right here. Hello, Mittens. <laughs> yeah, they talk like cats. Feel like I improved a lot today. I hope you'll bring me a log for the next downy too. So these are basically um, your hunting partners. So, let's go ahead and change the palico equipment to show you this guy. Let me take off his helmet. There he is. And it, pretty much the same jumbo here about benefits. Also, armor gives you elemental stuff. You want to manage this. Um, I don't think I really need to explain to you how that works. So, yeah, you got to manage your elements. Which, speaking of which, yeah, that's the Palico for you. You can give them different weapons with different stats. Like that one has stun on it. We'll get how to craft weapons in a bit. One more thing. This is your bestiary. You can basically you have to research them by encountering them, fighting them, ex many other things to get information based on these. And you can see the physiology, their weak points, and the rewards you can get from them. So ones we're going to be checking out is the Great Jagras, the Puke Puke, or Pukey Pukey. Um, the Jerototus, maybe Toby Kadashi. And that's just about it. Hopefully we can check all those out. And there are many life forms that give you such stuff, so let me show you my character. Let's change equipment. And take his helmet off, because you can't see him right now. There he is. Just in case you're wondering who's behind the mask. Okay, so you can see it's basically the same thing here. Bunch of different gear. It's crafted out of the body parts. And as you can see, I have special leggings that make me into a certain superhero. I am now Aquaman. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and check out. Here's the manage item. You can customize bowgun. I don't use ranged weapons. You can sell equipment, change appearance, and that basically goes... That goes into a screen where you can adjust your appearance. I'm not going to do that. Because I like my character. Um, you can sell items here from your item box. Let's go to the manage items. This is where you can go ahead and manage your items and transferring them to the item box. Remember, you can carry this amount of types, but only a certain number of those types. We're going to let off some fireworks, too. So yeah, and here's the crafting list. There are some things, like the max potion isn't really available to you. You have to find the ingredients to unlock it. It's just question marks. You can go... It's basically, that's kind of like the crafting. You're going to... One of the most important things you want to make are trank bombs and traps. These things will help you in capturing creatures rather than rather than slaying them and believe me there is a reason you want to do that it's always better to capture than to slay because if you capture it you'll get more stuff from it 
Why do I oh in this game I always hear cats fighting in this game? Jesus. Makes me like take my take my headphones off. Um Okay. So now that that's done. Okay. You can rest. Never have done that yet. <laughs> so let's go ahead. So I'm going to be right back, guys. Okay, I'm done, just getting everything sorted. Okay, now we are done with my ruin. Wow, it's already 21 minutes. So yeah, this is gonna be an hour long episode. So this one is mostly just made for my parents because I wanted to show them in my room, but there's not enough space in here. So that's why I'm recording this. Uh, so we might not get the multiplayer, but don't worry, the next episode, or the episode after the introduction, will be for you guys. Jeez, it is lagging. Aha! So here, right here, is uh, where your captures are. When you capture one, it's going to place right here. Not very secure, as you can tell, but don't worry, they're always asleep. In fact, that makes me nervous a bit. <laughs> so, right up here, this is what you'll want to do with your research. Always check on these guys. Go! Carefully! So, spoilers again, and here you can see the more tracks and stuff you can discover from these creatures, the more your research level raises. And you have to check with these guys to actually gain the points. Okay, this is the bi this is the botanical, not biological. And uh, And here, what you could do is cultivate stuff. So if you need an item, you can cultivate it here. And sometimes you'll get a little treat, let's just say. You can also fertilize it too. I don't do that. Let's collect the harvest. Actually, nah. Let's leave it in there. Ah, let's take all. Okay, so that's botanical research. Now the provisions, this took me a while to find out where the provisions are. We got this. Here are the provisions where you can buy, sell, that kind of stuff. You can check out what he has if you get the game yourself. No idea what the Poogie does. Don't really mess with them. Okay, so this is the elevator. You can take it to go certain floors, which we won't do right now, until we need to go to the gathering hub. Now here is the workshop level. Some hard graft. Okay, so here what you can do is forge stuff, upgrade items. This is how the upgrading works. Um, you'll need to get armor spears to upgrade your armor. 
but for weapons, this is kind of odd. Um, for weapons, you have to go through an upgrade tree with different weapons have different buffs. So that's just wanted to point out the difference. You can forge Palico. Oops. As you can see, you won't have all these available to you. But again, I've played for quite a bit. You can manage your kin sex. Now you'll have to find out yourself what those are. Customize your bow gun. I use the bow when I do have to use range, which if you're hunting bird-like creatures, yeah, range is probably the best. Because the slinger doesn't do that much damage. Slinger is more for startling the enemy or distracting them. And you can change your equipment here. So let's show you how they forge it because it's honestly pretty odd. Let's go ahead and forge some chain mail. No, you know what? Let's forge some bone. I can sell this later. This is how they forge bone. Deafen bones right in the forge. Realism isn't really this game's point. Nope, do not equip. So yeah, that's basically everything here. If you're too lazy to get the resources, you can buy them here. So... Oh yeah, you'll probably notice these. These are quest boards. Um, uh, if you don't want to go up to your handler, which we'll, we're going to meet soon, um, you just go to these quest boards and you can post a new quest or join quests or... Here. Um, we'll get to the handler and discuss it. I don't know what's beyond this point because this uh, housekeeper's in the way. This is the canteen. Um, uh, you do generally hear it's it's uh, where you eating gives you certain buffs. I won't go over that. Actually, let's do it because there's a little funny animation at the end of it. I have crap tons of money because I for selling eggs. I always go for the custom platter. I don't know what fresh does. Let's go with thorny meat. Where's the wyvern's head? Wyvern's tail. Wyvern skirt steak. Wyvern thigh. Here's the little animation. This is your handler. This is where quests, uh, basically she's your partner and, hey, partner. and basically she's basically like a quest board. And you can start a new setting if you want and search for one. Okay, posting a quest is basically mostly in single player. Um, you want to go and just choose a quest and then you'll start it. You can choose how many people will join. And if you don't want to do that, you can join a quest. And this is respond to an SOS which you can launch during a mission. Or just pick available quests. Now, since we are in a private server, there are none. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's head up to the gathering hub. It's this way.
We're at 30 minutes and we're just finishing up the introduction. Now, generally, the Gathering Hub... You can... It's basically... Generally, the Gathering Hub is basically a place for you to meet other hunters. Um, there's a lot of the stuff you'll find down on the lower deck. There's arm wrestling stuff, never tried it out. Again, I play on a private server. You can go to your room or the Chamber of the Five. That's the famous window. Yeah, it's just a fancy room. There's really not much here. And over here is the arena That's counter. Amazing. It's the arena, there's monsters in it, you fight them, but please take your time looking at the quest list. Here, basically our arena challenges, I never tried these, so I have no idea what, what lies in store. Now let's try the elevator and let's go back to the trade yard. Okay, so now I will discuss quests. Now a quest is basically you have limited, you have basically limited uh, amount of times you can faint, which is die, and, uh, and uh, a limited amount of time to defeat a quest. Now, there is no pausing in this game because it is a multiplayer game if you don't have a private server. Um, I suppose you could play it uh, single player other, other ways too, but um, if you don't want to do a quest, you don't want to be limited to time, and you don't want to be limited to fainting because you just want to goof off, which I love to do. You can go through here. There are many different places. I'll let you discover them on your own. And uh, click to depart on expedition. And you won't have all these camps. You won't have the Wild Spire Waste available to you yet. So we're going to go to the Ancient Forest. You won't have the Ancient Forest camp available to you. Uh, so we're not going to go to that one. We'll go to the Southwest camp. You only have the Southwest camp available to you to start out with. And we're going to be hunting a select group of monsters that I want to show you guys. It will be much harder to track these guys down the first time you try it. But for me, it is quite easy. I just need to find one track. And sometimes they're just available right off the bat. Which is kind of weird. And I know where a lot of them is based. I pretty much explored this place to the full, its fullest extent. So let's find some monsters. Uh, I also want to show you the Jagras. I can actually tame those. And the Kestodons. I know where they are. If I can tame them, because they can be tricky. So here is the camp. In the camp you'll have find a supply box. There's nothing here because we're on an expedition. But during a quest, you'll find a select group of items that you can take with you. This is where your palico is. You can tell him to stay behind. No idea why you would do that. There's absolutely no benefit. Here's a canteen. 
And uh, here is this where you can manage your inventory and stuff like that. Actually, let's head in there. You can change Palco equipment, go to your item box and change your equipment. Okay. So let's head out and hunt some monsters. So you can get fresh meat. There is a reason for meat. It will increase your stamina. Aha! We already found it. A great Jagra. Let's go and kill this guy. You don't scare me. Come on, bub. Oh, he's running. I can kill these guys pretty quickly. Oh yeah, the Palicos will have certain gadgets that you unlock. Flashfly is a, is a somewhat um, later game item. Well, I guess not. But it was later game for me. You can break parts and get materials for breaking their parts. You can also mount monsters to knock them down. You can also chop off their tail. And... You're almost down. So now we have a chance to capture him, now that he's limping. They're, they'll head back to their little base for a catnap. There we'll have a chance to stun him. My, cal my Calico can speak to Jagra, so maybe we can get one on our side. And then you just throw two track bombs, and he's captured, bitch! And Okay, come on, listen to me. Okay, let's try to beat some sense into these guys. Yeah, we got one! Okay, we got a Jagra on his side. You'll notice that, uh... You'll notice that Mittens sometimes rides your Jagra or your Palico. I named him Mittens in this case, because that's my cat in real life. Tried to base his uh, little design as much off my cat. Oh, be careful. Don't get too far away from your monster tail raider, as they're called. Any partner that's not your main partner are called tail raiders. Be careful not to get too far away from these guys, or they will leave you. 
if they can't go through certain terrain. So these are Castodons. These are the other ones I can tame. But you can only have one monster at your side at a time. So let's just kill these guys. Now keep in mind that the females, the smaller ones, are like the eyes. Well, the bigger ones are like the fists. You can get... Oh, yep, he's riding him right there. Thank you for doing that for the camera. Ow. How rude. Twice. There we go, we didn't take much damage, and no, the more you use your tail raiders, the more powerful they will become. And may even do some special things. I'll, I'll leave that for you to discover on your own. So now we've met the great Jagras and Jagras themselves, and also Castadon. The Puke Puke is next on the list. Oh yeah, you should eat these, because these grubs um, help your stamina. Also you can eat meat using the barbecue stick. Um, to uh, increase that stamina. Also, the more you strike with your weapons, the uh, more there, you can see that sword on the top left. Um, the more you strike with your weapons, the duller they become and you're more likely to deflect your attacks. So, just keep that in mind. You can sharp it with whetstone or wet fish fins, because there is fishing in this game. God, that guy's noises scare me. Remember, there's certain slinger ammo that you can only find um, outdoors. Maybe we'll find one. And also, I need to talk about... See those green particle effects that sometimes appear? Those are scout flies. Lore-wise, um, they're a piece of equipment that has their animals that help you. you see those are scout flies, and they point out important stuff tracks and they will lead you to the monster so that's you're very useful oh these are moss swines moss swines will usually go towards the closest mushrooms so they're good to keep around oh yeah this guy surprised me a Rathalos, that's the peak predator. I am not prepared to take that guy on. The bugs are quite useful. That That's good to make flash pods. Okay. So, I need to find my way out of here. Because the Puke Puke is not going to be here. It's an Anjanath footprint. That's not what we're looking for. Let's use the scout flies to find the location of the Puke Puke. I have a quest that I can do to show you guys it. Let's let my Jagra catch up.
But watch out for poison cups, they release poison when struck. Janet's mucus. We are not haunting Anjanath, so let's just ignore that. Okay, so the Puke Puke is not showing themselves, so... Oh yeah, Paratoad, watch it. That guy will paralyze you if you kick it. Oh yep, this is one of the things you can add to your slinger, the red pit. I was looking for that. Oh, I forgot to show you. I guess we'll look at that when we get back the bounties. So let's head back to camp. Looks like there's another great Jagra. I think I hear an Anjanath. Yep, there he is. I can take him on. I don't really want to right now. <laughs> We're not here to face you, guy. Okay, we're gonna lose our Jagra by doing this, but oh well. You get meat from those guys. Oh, you can claim your rewards here. That's uh, extra rewards we got from capturing uh, uh, that uh, Jagra. Man, this is just right over there laying on like uh, that Christmas tree cloth. And you can see the certain stuff rays, research points, go, you can discover all those on your own. This game auto saves, by the way, so you don't. If in doubt, take a bite. So we're going. Look at investigations, and we'll get into investigations more when we get back to base. So we're going after... Where are the Puke Pukes? Capture! Puke Puke! One person? Closest one is the Northeast Camp, which you won't have access to, but I do. Oh, I forgot to use the voucher. That will give you, like, double the money. Jeez, we have like nine minutes. This might be a super long episode. Okay, let's go and change our equipment. 
particularly weak towards lightning, so let's change to that. Let's get the Puke uh, Vambrances, or Pukey Vambrances. Let's leave the water on. Okay, we should be ready. Oh shit, I forgot to equip my Palico. Let's go and do that quick. I think this will probably help us out. Let's give the Puke clothes. What is this better? No, it's not. This is six, but uh, whatever. Let's just go with this crappy assignment. Oh, we don't have much time left, guys. Hate to rush it, but we're running out of time. Something's screaming. There he is! Oh yeah, there's that lick attack. Let's see if I can mount this guy. Okay, he's running. Yeah, a certain terrain here, Palico can't go. Where is he going? He's just. F there are also certain traps in the environment. Don't have time to pick up one of you guys. We're short on time. That's a Kula Laku. Yeah, I don't really need your stuff. They can pick up items.
You can forge stuff pretty much out of any body part. Be careful when the when his face and uh, tail gets puffed means he's about to shoot poison. Let's just say the pukey pukey is a is a very fitting name. Okay, I think he's stunnable now. No, he's not. Damn it, while well, I'm out. Looks like you're out of train bombs. Whip some more up by combining sleep herbs and parish rooms. I don't have. Yeah, I don't have any. Let's just kill this guy. There we go, we mounted it. And here you can stab it. Be careful, it will try to throw you off. You got a brace for that. Oh, he chopped off his tail. This mission is going to be a failure, but I don't really care. We'll just go on this till this guy dies.
damn it. You poisoned me. Damn it, I don't have anything in the slinger. Quest failed. Okay, so we failed that quest. But I didn't really care at that point. We are running short on time. So I'm going to go ahead and get prepared for the next, for the last monster I want to show you. We're going to end off the episode. Quickly guys, I forgot to show you this. Um, the bounties are over here. I'm ready. Let's go. Here's where you uh, monitor the bounty. These are where the bounties are. You can choose basically what you want. Let's choose those. Just fill them up. You usually get armor suits in there. Those missions that we just did are investigations. You can choose them right there and if you want to have delivery missions you deal with them right there so yeah that's basically it so I'm gonna get prepared for our next mission and then I will be right back okay I'm back oh. don't know why it's lagging out to fiddle with it okay so now, uh, um, I was given, let's first pick a quest, I was given this really cheaty armor at the beginning of the game, I didn't realize it was until later on, it's the Guardian stuff. Yeah, so I refused to use it. Um, investigations, we are going to want to hunt a Geratotus. Gerat Tatus, I think it's called. Again, you won't have all these camps. Let's go to the southwest camp. So I'm all prepared. Let's leave for the quest. Okay, let's hunt a Gerototus, our first sea monster. It's like a mudfish, you'll see. Hopefully don't run into any other monsters on the way. I know where his base is, so that's why I'm heading. I don't really need this guy to lead me. Oh shit, yeah, be careful. You'll you'll eventually stop to pant if you let that run out completely. There he is. That's a good job, Mr. Catfish.
This guy has mud armor and also spits mud. Careful, this guy will give you water blight. Get you Which allows, makes your stamina go down faster. Well, makes it regenerate slower, actually. This guy also changes the terrain a bit. Oh, I accidentally killing the catfish. This guy's like a giant catfish. There's a guy in Gajel. Puke armor gives a better resistance to water. Oh yeah, it has legs too. Come at me, Bub. You wanna go? Let's go! Eat my axe! Oh yeah, it does that sometimes. Just wait for him to stop. Oh Jesus, I'm losing health fast. Okay, he's running now. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, you can eat these null berries to cure your blights. Oh yeah, be wary. Monsters will fight each other if they see them. 
So you can use that to your advantage. Yeah, you can use the Gelly Mantle. Ah, yeah, they're on a turf war. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's watch this. That turf war really helped us out there. Sometimes you can get wyvern tears that give you a lot more points. They usually fall off. Sure, told us still. Yeah, we got him. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this episode of Bryce Plays Multiplayer and expect another episode soon. Oh, that is me who actually playing multiplayer <laughs> in this game. So expect that soon. So anyways, guys, this is the intro and I'd like to see you guys uh, show up for the second one. So... Anyways, this is Bryce Zender signing out. See you guys later. Bye. Actually, let's wait for the 30 seconds to end. Alright guys, bye. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I just wanted to record this quick because I forgot to do it. So if you stuck with me, um, uh, this is what we're going to do. Um, uh, first of all, I want to show you, these are Grimalek, Grimalkines, um, I think they're called.
And you can team up with them after doing certain missions. They give you palico gadgets. Like that, I, I teamed up with two, and you can tame them to become a tail raider. These are the protectors. How you get those quests, you'll find out on your own. So I was just going to go here to collect parish rooms, but then I remembered there was something we forgot. I forgot to end off, I promise you guys, at least I think I did, something. Never did it. This is going to be the end of the episode, so if you stuck with me, here's your treat. I got this from the Spring Blossom event. I have like 15 of these. So anyways guys, uh, this is the real outro. I hope you enjoyed. Um, uh, this is Bryce Zender signing out. See you guys later. Bye.